Hey everybody, today on Rado Runs Through, we're taking a look at Yak. But before I get going, please turn your subtitles on to the Klingon channel so that when I make rules goofs, you'll know what they are. And if you've done that, well then, welcome to the Himalayas, everybody, where we've got some roving, wandering merchants who are peddling their wares, and uh, they're pulling all their stuff around with these awesome carts drawn by yaks. Some very, very tiny assembly required, and it's very worth it, because the toy factor of this game is off the roof. Look at this! The wheels actually turn! And that's a good thing, because these merchants are constantly traveling from village to village, trying to sell us the building materials that we need to build towers. This is a race game. The first player to build four of the potential five or more levels of their tower triggers the end of the game. And I'm going to show you how we're staying a two-player run through. This is me, the, what am I? I am the green player. Jen over here is the blue player. And we are ready to go. At the beginning of the game, everybody in their yurt has one milk, one bread, and one meat. And we have loaded up all of the merchant carts. And the first thing we do every round is simultaneously everybody picks what action they want to do. Uh, the main one that you want to do is to build, which means you give up some of the food resources you've got to the merchant that is in front of you. This is the merchant in front of me. This is the merchant in front of Jen. Uh, in a th three player game, this would be the merchant in front of the next player, but in a two player game, this is the merchant that um, is in, um, you know, uh, traveling from village to village. They're out there on the bridge, so we won't see that for a while. In a four player game, there's actually another card, so you've got four of them traveling around. And there's always one card in front of every player. So this is the one for me, and if I wanted, I could spend my my milk, my bread, and my meat to get one, two, or three blocks. And then I would take those blocks and start building my tower. There's a little bit more to it than that, because here's a close-up of a player board. There is a reminder that if I want to get one block, I've got to give up one. If I want to get two blocks, I've got to give up three food. If I want to get three blocks, I've got to give up five food. Plus, if I try to go for any of the, oh, what are these called? The light blue, the crystal stones, you have to pay more food because they're wilds. So, I've got access to a light gray, a medium gray, and a dark block right there in front of me. So, I could try to get um, potentially two of them, right? Because I've got three food, and as it says here, if I give up three food, I could get two. But there is a problem. This merchant in front of me does not like the meat. I cannot use my meat with this merchant. So what I could do is um, give up um, one food to get one box, but I do not have enough. But you know what? That's okay. I think I just do. Um, if I can only get one block off of this, I'm pretty happy. So I am going to be choosing the card that says, hey, I'm going to build. Right. And while I'm thinking about what I'm going to do, Jen, she's got the same three cards as me. She could also say, hey, you know what? I want to give up some stuff to get some blocks off the cart in front of me so that I could build. But I think Jen's going to go a different way. So everybody simultaneously chooses their cards. And then in turn order, we start revealing our cards. So I've got the baby yak because the rules say who gets the first player marker at the beginning of the game? Whoever's the hairiest. And that would totally be me. So I've got the baby yak. I'm the first player and I reveal... I'm going to build. So what do I do? I give up um, one, three, or five food to get one, two, or three blocks. And remember, they don't want meat, so I'm going to give up two food. I'm going to give up one milk and one bread and load them up here. Each merchant card can hold up to nine bits of food, so there's room for one more here. And because I paid two, I get one. I am definitely going to take this black block. And there... Ooh. Oh, there, mm, yes, I'm definitely going to take this black block, and there's a reason for that. All right, so as soon as you get the block, you put it over here on your little board. There are five spots on the ground. I can put it in any of these, and once I've placed one, then um, I either have to build on either side of it or up once I've got two of them. You're trying to basically make a pyramid. And all right, why? did I choose this black one? Because I didn't mention, folks, as part of setup, there are three goal cards that have been laid out. This one says, hey, every time I can grab a yellow block and put it in one of these spaces on the second, third, or fourth level, that's worth two more bonus points to me. So that's nice. This one says, hey, whoever at the end of the game has the most medium um, uh, darkness blocks gets five points, and whoever has the second most gets three points. So, uh, that's important. And you might say, oh, maybe I want to chase after 
that medium instead. But this other one was the one that worried me. At the end of the game, if I don't have any black blocks, I will lose three points. So I just basically locked in three points by having a black block. Because once you place a block, it's never going to move again. Now, I could have gone for the screen, but in a two-player game, all I got to do is get one gray one, or dark, medium gray one, before the end of the game. And at the very least, I'll come in second place, which is three points in first place. So, there's really only a two-point delta. So, in a two-player game, this is the smarter way to go. At a higher player count, um, where you know you, there's only first and second place, but you might come in last place, I probably would have gone for the uh, gray block instead of the black block. Um, because, hey, five points for coming into the lead is a big deal. Anyway, though, so that's what I chose for my Myself. I spent goods, got some blocks, and then I built them immediately. And my goods are now going to move on at the end of the round. And so my turn is over. It is now Jen's turn. What did she do? She chose to restock. This is a different action. And what this means is, rather than taking blocks off the uh, cart that's in front of Jen, which is, you know, you imagine this is her, so she's over here. Rather than taking uh, blocks off of it, you um, take food instead. Jen picks one type of food, the milk, the meat, or the bread, and grabs all of it. And I think right now it makes sense for Jen to grab all three of this milk. And so Jen's yurt overfloweth. Our yurts cannot have more than eight food in them. Jen now has one, two, three, four, five, six. So after you do, and she could have taken the meat instead, but the reason she took the milk is because at the end of the round, all of these merchants are going to rotate to the next area. And Jen knows next round, she's being visited by this merchant who doesn't want meat. So Jen didn't necessarily want to get a whole bunch of meat on hand. So Jen decided to get a bunch of milk. All right, so that's the first thing she does. And now the next thing she does is she draws a block from the bag and puts it onto the cart. Each cart can have up to four blocks on it. So we got the handy dandy bag here full of blocks. And let's see what Jen finds. She finds it's one of the uh, clay-colored reddish blocks. So, boom, this is full. I think actually you're supposed to kind of stack them up like this as a more visual reminder that there can be uh, at most four things on it. Doesn't matter. There's several different ways you could load it up. So this is now loaded, um, and that was Jen's turn. She got herself some resources. The merchant refilled some blocks for later, and uh, that's the end of the first round. Everybody gets their card back. You can do the same action multiple turns in a row. The first player marker moves on to the next player. So now Jen has the baby yak, and all of the merchants go for a ride. Yeehaw! All right, and there we go. So now this turn, I've got this merchant in front of me who does not like milk. Uh, but that's okay, because I think I've got a plan for this round. And um, Jen is going to be the first player, although once again, everybody decides simultaneously what they're going to do. Now, actually before I go on, I should go, before we go on, you might think, hey, why did Jen refill? Why didn't she grab one of these blocks, uh, the same way I did. Well, she would have liked to have gotten this yellow one, definitely, because we've got this objective that says, hey, every yellow can be worth two bonus points if they're on the second, third, or fourth level. If Jen had taken that yellow, she would have been forced to put it on her first level, and that wouldn't have done her any good. So she wasn't too excited about that. The other two blocks that were in this cart are what are called the crystal blocks, this light blue. These are wild. They can be considered any color. So they are very valuable, but because of that, they are more expensive. If Jen wanted to buy a crystal block, uh, she would have had to pay one extra. And she didn't want to do that. And come to think of it, what was I thinking? Why did I pay two? I was thinking, oh, I had it mixed up in my head. I was thinking, oh, I wanted to get the crystal block that Jen had access to. I didn't have to. Um, sorry, folks. Always watch with the Klingon subtitles turned on. I got myself a little confused. On my turn... Uh, when I got the one block, I didn't need to spend two for it. I only needed to spend one. I'm sure Paula was already making fun of me. What did I hold on to? Well, I didn't want to hold on to this milk because I know the next merchant coming into town doesn't like milk. So I held on to the bread. Then, so I only paid one milk to get the one block. Jen, meanwhile, she could have paid two to get one of these blues, the wilds, but she didn't want to overpay. She didn't want that yellow because she really couldn't take best advantage of it. So she just figured she'd save up for a rainy day. And then... Then they all move. We come into the new area. And once again, everybody gets to decide what they're going to do. And look what just pulled up right in front of me. Another cart 
with another black block. And if I can, I would like to ensure that Jen goes the entire game never being able to grab any of these so that she'll lose three points. So you better believe I'm going to build that black block. So here's what I'm choosing, although again, it's in secret. And uh, Jen, she's got to decide what she's doing. And I think it really isn't going to come as any surprise. She's the first player. She will play and reveal she is also building. That's what we're here to do. We're here to build these towers. So Jen could spend one, three, or five food to get one, two, or three blocks. There are only two blocks available. And that's cool. Jen says, I will buy both of them, please. And, oh, this person doesn't like meat. That's okay. Jen's got a whole bunch of milk that she could spend on it. Now, here's the interesting thing. Uh, you can only, uh, The merchant carts can only have up to nine, so two of the milk go there. So this merchant cart is full of food now. And the other one goes here to this central marketplace because there was enough room for it. And Jen grabbed both of these. And so now Jen is in the lead for the dark gray. If she can have more than me at the end of the game, she'll score five points. But if I get at least one, then I'll score three. So she'll really only have netted two. So Jen's going to build both of these now. The first block, she can put in any of these slots. The next one, she has no choice. She must put it adjacent, either left or right, or on top of an existing one. Although you can't put it on top yet until another one's in. So I think Jen will put the gray block here, the dark gray. She'll put the lighter one there. Because what she's thinking is, hey, she set herself up now so that if she can get this yet, yellow block over here, she could put it on the second level where it would like to be. Although here's the deal. If she does that, she will have cut off the expansion ability of her light gray block because we are racing to build all the levels of our towers. But the way we score points off of these towers is uh, a very important concern. First of all, whenever you've got two or more blocks adjacent to each other that are touching, that's considered a group. And the bigger the group, the more points. Two blocks next to each other the same color, uh, that's three points. Five, that's 12. Seven or more, that's 21. If you get seven blocks of the same color all in one group, well, you're doing really good. Although, on the other hand, you're not doing so well. Because at the end of the game, we will also score points for how many unique groups we have. Like in this case, if uh, if the player ended and they only had this side, they have one, two, three groups. Uh, uh, black, dark gray, and light gray. Three groups, that's four points. F um, five groups, that's 12 points. So if you go monolithic and get a lot of stuff of the same color, you're not going to get very many points for having a lot of different groups. And so the thing is, if Jen goes like this, hey, she can get more um, dark gray and spread them off in this direction and make a big group of dark gray, but this light gray... Well, um, she if she eventually gets this yellow and puts it on top, then this light gray can never become a group. But that's okay, because Jen's thinking long-term about trying to get a lot of extra points by doing yellows that way. So she'll go on ahead and lay them out thusly. And an important thing has just happened, folks. This cart has completely emptied out. Whenever that happens, you stop and you um, refill. You, uh, you put three more back in. You don't refill it all the way up to four, but you put three more back in. Let's see what Jen draws. One, two, three. Okay. Mm, she did not draw any fog. This can be a real game changer if you draw a fog tile. And at the beginning of the game, there are five of them in this bag. You can see a few of them right there. So the fog did not roll in yet. And so Jen just goes on ahead and loads up this cart. All right. So that was Jen's turn. And now you will notice this cart is overflowing with milk. On a turn when this comes in front of you, you might very well want to say, hey, you know what? I just want to go on ahead and restock and grab all that milk. So I'm really loaded for a while. But anyway, that's later. That's what Jen chose to do. Then I say, hey, I'm also going to build. And I want this black block, please. And um, I need three things, remember. I need three to get two. So um, two blocks. And I don't have three, so I've all, and they don't want milk. So am I going to pay the one meat or the one bread I've got? I think I'll pay the bread because as it happens, the next one coming around the corner does not want um, any uh, bread. So if I got my bread now, I'd be able to um, spend my meat on that merchant. So let's go on ahead and do that. And you know what? Actually, I, if I'd been smart, if I'd been thinking, because I totally forgot. Hey, don't forget this objective. I think I would have put my first block right there, my first black block. And so I just bought a black block with that. I'll put it right here. 
And so now, if I can grab this yellow, I can put it on, I can start working my way up, and I can still put more black blocks on the ground floor, so I could try to get a bigger and bigger and bigger group. And I could try to keep them away from Jen so that she will lose three points at the end of the game if I've got all of them. All right. So, we both built, um, and at the end of the second round, we both have level 2, but Jen's still got 3 food on hand, whereas I've only got 1. But I'm actually starting to make a targeted group. So, we have finished the second round. Now, we just go on ahead, and all of these little um, guys drive around. And we go on to the third round now. Okay, so, hmm... I have one food. With one food, I cannot buy either of these wild crystal blocks because they cost um, however much you're going to pay. How much you're going to pay plus one more? But that's okay. I just want this yellow because then I can start working on that. And I'm already set up for it. So once again, for the third time in a row, well, I think you know what I'm going to do. What is Jen going to do though? Well, I'll tell you, Jen's thinking. She's not particularly excited about the dark orange or the light orange. I think Jen calls this the marigold block. Um, because there's no objectives for it. And if she just gets a whole bunch of singles that can't be parts of groups, a single block by itself at the end of the game in your tower is just worth one point. So I don't think Jen wants either of those. I think Jen's going to restock again. Although, instead of restock, although restocking right now is interesting because, hey, she could either get three meat or she could get four bread. And so, I mean, obviously you'd think she'd want to get the bread, except the problem is, what's coming into her village next turn? The merchant who doesn't want bread. So she'd get a bunch of bread that she can't use to buy these um, crystal blocks. So, if Jen's going to get something, she'll probably get the meat instead. Although there's something else Jen could do. Jen, the third card is you can go to the local market where you can pick up any two goods that are here in the market so you can be a little bit more flexible about what you want to get. Or you can take one or two. Uh, although you'd always take two if you can. Uh, although remember, your yurt can only hold eight. And what happens afterwards is you draw three blocks from the bag and you put one of them into any wagon, not just the wagon in front of you that's about to leave town. You can put something in the wagon that's about to come into town. Plus, another interesting thing is, if you choose to do this action, because you're drawing three blocks instead of one, you significantly up the chance... Nope, didn't happen there. You significantly up the chance of drawing fog. And what happens is, if you draw fog, all of the yaks get confused. They all turn around 180 degrees and go in the opposite direction, which can really mess with people's plans. Unless you're hoping that's what happens because you want something to come back your way. But anyway, so what's Jen going to do? She could go for this and try to draw three and maybe get some fog. But you know what? I'm sure she's happy to get this. I think she is just going to um, restock again. But anyway, she'll do that in a little bit. So um, I am the first player. I reveal what I'm doing first. And boom, I am um, going to buy something with the last bit of food I've got. With one bit of meat, I'm going to buy this yellow. And boom, I'm starting. I've got a nice size too. I can start working my yellows, working their way up as per this objective. And now I am totally broke. Uh, next turn, well, here's the deal. Next turn, this cart is going to roll into town, and I might restock and get myself six milk in one turn. Very nice. Although then, unfortunately, the next merchant won't want anything to do with that milk. But who knows? Maybe this will come into town, and then the fog will roll in, and they'll turn around, and then I can use the milk to buy a, a uh, crystal. In fact, I might even want to make that happen. So we'll see what goes on with me. Jen, meanwhile, says, hey, I'm going to resupply some more. And again, if she grabs all this bread, she can't use it to buy these crystals. She won't be able to use it until this friend comes in. But remember, Jen is going to draw a single block after she's done. And if it's a fog, then this will turn around and she could use the bread. I don't think she likes her chances. She's going to restock and just grab three meat instead of four bread. Because this one will take the meat. All right. And then she draws one block. And now, she is definitely hoping, whatever this is, she is hoping it is not fog. Um, because if it is fog, everything's going to come around, and this one will come back to her town, the one who doesn't want all that meat. So what did she draw? Okay, an orange. No biggie. 
on it goes. Although this is interesting. This now becomes a much more attractive cart because if you've got enough when it comes into town, you could get two matching. And so right off the bat, you could place them next to each other and start working on another group of color. So that was that. That was Jen's turn. She restocked again. She's loaded. I'm totally broke. And um, the yaks move on. Whee! Okay. Jen is the first player. We'll take our cards back. And, um, yeah. Here's the deal, folks. I would definitely like to buy this. I have nothing. I have no choice. I must. I must um, uh, get... So I could either come over here. And so this is an interesting choice. What I want to do is go this way and grab all this milk. I'll have six milk. That'll keep me going for a while. But the next person coming into town doesn't want that milk. There's a chance maybe I'll draw a cloud and turn everybody around, and then I could use that milk to buy over here. Or instead, I could do this, draw three and turn everything around, but then I'd only be getting two resources. And this is too good to pass up. I am going to restock. All right, and Jen, what is she going to do? Jen's pretty loaded, so I think she is going to do what we are here to do. She's going to build. Okay, so Jen is building. This is what's available to her. I think she's going to spend big. She's got enough food. She can spend five of it to get all three blocks out of here. No, she can't. Because remember, if she wants to get two crystals, she has to pay two extra. Arg! Well, then that means if she wants to get two things, that would cost three. And then for each crystal, it would cost one more. So she could get both crystals for five. That's what she's going to do. Boom, boom. And what will she spend? One, two, three, four. Because the next one coming into town doesn't like meat anyway. So she might as well get rid of all this meat right now and put it on the back of this cart. One, two, three, four. And then does she hold on to the milk or does she hold on to the bread? The one coming after that is milk. So I think she'll hold on to the bread. So Jen just paid all of this. Five goods to get two wilds. One, two, three... And this cart is overflowing. You better believe, wherever this goes next, somebody says, hey, I just want to grab um, eight meat. Although, remember, our yurts can only hold eight. So depending on the situation, that might not be that big a deal. In this situation, though, it's pretty great because I'm um, totally broke. Uh, although this one won't get around to me for a while because I'm saying this is where I'm at. In front, you know, this is in front of me. That's in front of Jen. This is the extra one. Okay, so Jen um, built these. She's got to place them now. Now here's one thing. Um, for the purposes of these objectives, these can be considered to be any color, but for the purposes of the objectives, they are still considered to be crystal. So I can't put this here and say, oh, it's a yellow. This can be considered a yellow if I have a big group of yellow there, but it, um, you know, basically the end objectives ignore these as you know specific colors. So. I think Jen wants to leave this space open as a uh, uh, for eventually putting yellows the same way I did. So she'll put this one here. Now, at the end of the game, it's not until the end of the game that Jen has to declare what color this is. Chances are she will declare that this is a dark gray, which, again, won't help her get the majority of dark grays, but it will help her have a bigger group of dark grays for more points. Now she's got to place this other one. She could place it here. Well, now here's an interesting thing. At the end of the game, if you've got multiple um, uh, crystal blocks in in, in the a, a touching, they have to be chosen to be different things. So James couldn't say both of these are dark gray. If she went like this. She could say this is dark gray and that this is something else, as an example. I think Jen's going to stack them like that, leaving space for the yellow, uh, leaving space. More dark grays can go this way, but later on she might put something else on the. Or if she puts a yellow here, she might declare this is yellow. So she's got a big group of yellows plus a yellow in the correct place. So that's what Jen did, and it pretty much bankrupted her to get those wilds. And meanwhile, me, well, I had no money, so I, mm, yeah, yeah, I'm going to go on ahead. If I grab all this milk, I won't be able to use it. That's the problem. If I grab this bread, I can use these. But in this particular game, orange and marigold blocks, I mean, they're nice enough, but I'm not that excited about it. I think, yeah, I'll go on ahead and get all of the milk. Thank you very much. And here's the deal. Now, um, when you resupply, you draw and block. Again, I am hoping I draw fog so that everybody will turn around so that this one will come back to me. Although, here's the problem. There's only one thing on here. This isn't a particularly good card anymore either because Jen kind of cleared it out. All right, well, anyway, I got to draw one. Let's see what I get. Boop. All right, it's a dark gray. All righty. 
So, this just became a much more interesting cart. And the problem is, it's heading right over to Jen. But on the other hand, it's not so bad, because Jen um, is out of cash. Uh, she can only afford to buy one. Although, ooh, yeah, that could work out well for her. Anyway, though, so we're going to go with that. And uh, so I am done. I resupplied. I've got all the milk in the world, although it's not going to help me much as we move on to the next round. Yeehaw! Go the uh, carts. Okay, so I got all of that milk, and I cannot engage in trade with this trader at all. So I could restock once again, although since I've got eight milk, what, one, two, three, four, five, six. If I restock again, I'll give myself two bread, which this guy doesn't want. Um, so do I want to do that or... No, I think, I think for the first time, it's time to go to the market. Because here's the deal. This is the next one that's going to be coming into my village. I don't care about this. I would rather get a crystal. I would rather get a, uh, a dark gray because we have a thing for dark grays. Um, I'd rather get a light gray because I can see Jen wants to snag it. Although, remember, Jen's going to buy something. Well, we assume Jen is going to buy something this turn. She does have one. Maybe she's not going to buy, but assuming she's going to buy, even still, I'd rather this thing come back to me rather than this one come into town. So, I think for the first time, I'm going to go to the local market. Alrighty. And Jen, meanwhile, I don't think there's going to be much surprise what she has in mind. Okay, so, I think I moved the baby yak. I believe this is correct. I am the first player. Here we go. I can take one or two things from the market. I can combine them however I want. I think I've got enough milk. So, um... And here's the deal. After I'm done, I'm going to draw three uh, uh, three blocks. We've got a long time without getting a fog. I'm willing to bet fog is going to come. So if fog is going to come, that means this one comes into town. They don't want meat, which means I should grab two bread. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab two bread because I've got enough milk. So now my yurt is full. If this one comes into town, well, you know what? I, the, uh, I My bread is going to help me anyway because there's only one thing on there to get. So I'm going for that, and I am crossing all of the fingers. Here we go. Let's go on ahead and draw one, two, three. It happened, folks. Okay. So um, what happens is I set this aside. And I keep drawing until I actually get three that are not fog. I might get another fog. I hope I don't, because then things will turn around again. Oh my gosh, I got... No! This is not what I wanted. Now I'm hoping and praying for a third fog. Digging, digging, digging in there. Nope, I didn't. It's a crystal. Arr! So here's the deal, folks. This first fog says, okay, they all turn around. And that is exactly what I wanted to happen. This one, Jen was still going to get to buy something, but then this was going to come back over to me, and I was either going to get a crystal or I was going to get a dark gray. That was going to be awesome. But then I went and drew the second one. And they all got confused again, and they all turned around and decided to go back on their merry way. So this crappy one is still going to roll into town. Arg! Well, don't feel too bad for me, folks, because remember, when you do the market and you grab from the market and you draw three, you pick one, you can put it in any cart, not just the one in front of you. So... This is an interesting choice. I think I could get I could put this crystal here and then I'll be able to buy it so I can get a wild. Or I'm just, I'm just gonna I'm gonna go cheap. I'm gonna get the black. Alrighty, because that's gonna come into town. I'm gonna keep it's another big group of black. I'm keeping all the black away from Jen, which is gonna lose her points in the game. These go back in the bag. And we've had two instances of fog. Once we have another instance of fog, once we draw another one, what'll happen is it'll come over here and um, all the acts will turn around again and plans will change. And then this token gets removed from the game and the three fog go back in the bag. Then it's possible for four fog to come out. And once four fog have come out, these don't clear out again, but it, what it means is for the remainder of the game, there is only one fog left in the sack. So things basically over the course of the game get less foggy. As you're getting towards the end and those kinds of turns can really mess you up, uh, there will be less fog in general because of the way this little, um, this cool little 3D mountain works where over time um, the fog does not go back in the sack. Anyway though, so that was my turn. I grabbed a couple of things and um, I refilled and it almost worked. It almost came my way, but you know what? I can't complain too much because what's coming my way, I'm also happy with. And now Jen says, yeah, I'm going to buy. 
Um, because she says, yes, please. I will spend the one bread I can because this merchant doesn't want meat. And I will get this other dark one. She couldn't get this because it would have cost two. And now this is kind of sad. She's going to go like that. And now this is a place where she can't put a yellow. But on the other hand, she's got, you could say, one, two, three, or one, two, three um, dark grays. And so that's already six points. If that dark gray block he, group keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, it can score more and more points. Plus, Jen is, still has the majority of these. I haven't gotten any of them yet. i got to get at least one to come in second place. So we'll see how that goes over the course of the game. So now, Jen is broke. So she's going to have to uh, mix it up next year. So, speaking of, it is the next year. This is a very, very fast, fast and fluid game, as you can imagine. Okay, everybody chooses. I think Jen, it's a pretty safe bet what Jen's going to do since she's broke. Um, yeah, I think it'll come as no surprise what Jen's plan is. My turn, however, I think it'll become... Because I don't want any more resources. I literally have no room for it in my yurt. So I'm going to go shopping. Oh, except I'm not the first player. Jen is the first player. She says, hi, I'm going to restock. I'll take all that bread, please. Bloop, 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 bloop. Bloop. And now we, she refills the thing. This could be fog. We'll see. She just draws one. Nope. Oh, it's a yellow. Everybody wants that yellow. Although Jen's in a position where she could take advantage of it. She could put the yellow here and then still have her dark grays um, extread in another direction. So that's very interesting. Me, I need to get something here and here before I could put a yellow up there. And you can't bank things and put them up later. As soon as you get by them, you have to build them immediately. And this is a tricky position to put them in. So that was Jen's turn. She didn't cause any fog, but she is now ready to go shopping in the future. It is my turn. I'm definitely going to go shopping now. This person doesn't want bread, but that's okay. I've got all the milk. I'm going to give them three milk to buy both of these. Although here's the problem, folks. Um, that you don't have any room. So, uh, basically, whenever you are buying stuff off a cart, you put as much of it, it can be up to nine things, and there's already nine things here. So all nine of those things are full. So this milk just comes over here to the market, waiting to be grabbed with that market card. I bought both. I am going to put this here. So now, and I could put this here, but I think I'll put this here. Because I can see that yellow is coming, and it's in my future, and I want to slip it right there. And then I want to start get reds working on the second level, and more black on the, t on the bottom level, as an example. And here's an important thing, though. Everything might be about to change. I just emptied it, which means I have to put three more in. And you can see, there's some fog right there. Let's shuffle it up. If it shuffles up... I would actually be ecstatic if it shuffles up because then, or if, if, if they rotate around, because then the yellow comes right back to me and I have enough bread to buy it, and boom, I can get that yellow. So I'm hoping I am drawing three. Oh, I just drew one. No! It's a black. Jen's finally going to get a black one and avoid that unless, unless I draw that uh, fog. Number two. No, it's one of the clay ones. Come on, I know you're in there somewhere. Here we go. Looking away. Not cheating. And the third one is a light gray. Boom. Okay. Well, that did not go as I had hoped. The merchants move on. Move on. There they go. And Jen says she knew it sooner or later. One of these was going to fall in her lap. Except, no, it's not. This person doesn't want bread. Jen has nothing but bread. She can't buy it. Dun, dun, da. Okay. That's a bad bit of timing for Jen. She might have wanted to have looked ahead, but, you know, anyway. So, uh, once again, everybody's going to choose. I've forgotten if I've changed this over or not. I think... Yeah, I, th I think that's right. Okay. So, I've still got... I mean, this person doesn't want meat. I, I could buy. And, yeah, I would like to buy. I don't really care about this light gray because there's no uh, uh, objectives for it. But I would like to get this. And hey, I'd like to get another red. If I put this on the ground, I can consider it a black. Now I've got space for the red. Yeah. So I would like to buy both of these. But that's going to cost me. Um, buying two costs three. And since one of them is a crystal, it's going to cost me four. But I can afford it. So let's go shopping. And Jen, meanwhile, she would desperately like to buy this. Desperately. And you know, Put it over here and avoid that penalty. But she can't. All she's got is bread. 
So she's then got to ask herself, what is she going to do? If she restocks, look at all this meat she will get. One, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight. Eight meat. Although, of the eight, she'd only be able to take four. And the other four would stay on because you can't have more than eight. But what good is that going to do? If she grabs all this meat and fills up her yurt, the next cart doesn't want meat. So that's two in a row. So I don't think she's going to do that. I think Jen's going to go to the market for the first time. And I'll tell you why. Well, you'll see why when her turn comes up. So anyway, I am first. I am definitely going to go shopping. I would like this, please. And this, please. That cost me three. Plus one is four. So, right. This one doesn't want milk. So I'm going to get rid of all my milk and one of my bread to get those blocks. And I'm going to load you back up. Boop. Boop. And this cart is almost full. All right. And it doesn't get refilled because it's not completely empty yet. And now I will put this down here. At the end of the game, I will declare it's black so that I've got a size 4. And I'll put this here. And now I'm starting to build up a collection of reds. And I could still get another yellow. Be beautiful. Jen, meanwhile, says, I'm going to the market. Why? All this meat wasn't going to do her any good. Plus the other thing. Remember, if she goes to the market, she gets two things. And she's already got enough. She gets two things and she draws three blocks. If she draws three blocks and gets that third cloud, things turn around, and this yellow will come back to Jen, because she knows I want it. And oh, I do want it, my precious. Look at that. i got a space all made for it. So Jen is hoping, after she gets two things, what does she want? Well, um, I think she'll go on ahead and get two milk. Uh, because if, if things turn around, the... Uh, no, no, no. If oh, Yeah. Well, she doesn't want meat because it, uh, this one doesn't want meat. This one doesn't want milk. But she, there's no bread she can take. So, you know what? She'll take one of each. Will she? Yeah, she'll take one of each just to have some variety. So that's what she did. She doesn't know which way things are going to go. And now she's going to draw her three. Although, remember, wh whatever she draws, she'll be able to put it... Well, she'll be able to put it in this one. This one's full. So she couldn't put it over here so that that could come to her. Um, so, well, we'll see what she gets. First of all, let's just draw those three. She draws a one. She draws a two. She draws no fog. Alrighty. So, Jen is going to put one of these in this one that is about to visit her. What does she want? She does not care about this. She is not. She will put the yellow there. Alright. Boom. Okay, so those go back. And um, we have finished the round. So, Jen was hoping to keep this away from me. But hey, next best thing, she's going to be able to get her own yellow. Alrighty. So, and here we go again. Jen is definitely going to go shopping. And me... Here's the problem. Yeah, I'm going to as well. Um, you know, although I don't reveal that yet. You'll, you'll see soon enough what I'm going to do, but it's fairly obvious. And Jen reveals, because she is the first player. She says, hi. I would definitely like to buy this. So that's going to cost her one thing. She could get this light gray as well. It's too bad this light gray is cut off from everything else. So it's not like she can extend the light grays. She knows she's going to put this here. And so, I mean, she's ultimately thinking she'll probably declare this to be a yellow. So that's a group of yellow. And she'll declare this to be a dark gray. So if she gets this, she would have no choice but to then cut off her collection dark gray. So I think she's just going to buy one. She'll leave the light gray alone. And um, so since she only bought one thing, she only has to pay one. She'll pay one bread. So... She's saving up for a bigger... And now this cart is full of food. So that was it for Jen. And me, I am going shopping as well. Spending my last bit of bread to this uh, that doesn't want milk. And boom. Noise. Noise, noise, noise. Okay. And so, player order changes. And, uh, yeah. There we go. And what's happening now? Well, I have no money. Uh, so I think now might be a good time to restock. I think it might be a great time to restock because if I do, I can get all that meat, which I can't use. But hey, you know, it's not like I particularly want this one gray anyway. And all that meat I can use on the other one. So I'm restocking. Jen. That's interesting. So this is what's in front of her. She'd have to start a new color. But hey, remember, not only do you want to have big groups, you want to have lots of groups. And this lets her start a new group with two. So I think Jen would be happy to do that. So there we go. I'm the first player. I say, yeah, I'm going to resupply. Give me all your meat, merchant. 
Bopity 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 bop. What do you want to bet that's yak meat? Oh my goodness, don't tell the baby yak. All right, so there we go. So I am loaded, except for the fact that the next merchant will not actually take my yak meat. So, but anyway, so that's that. And by the way, Jen's going to get this black next turn. Yep, she's going to be able to get it. There's nothing I can do to stop it, because I was broke. This, uh, but anyway, so, now if I didn't want to, if I wanted to try to keep this away, I could have done a Hail Mary. I could have gone to the, the market instead, taken a bunch of milk, or whatever, and then drawn three, because then maybe the fog would have come back around. But here's the deal. What would I have gotten out of here? I would have gotten some milk that that person didn't need. So I didn't. We'll just see what happens. All right, but I am still going to draw one and put one thing in here. It could happen. Stranger things have happened. But it didn't... Oh, it's a crystal. Wow. Okay. So that was it for me. Jen says, hi. I would like to go shopping as well. I can't spend milk here, but I will spend one, two... Um, three, because the next market, uh, uh, cart doesn't want bread anyway. One, two, three, to get two, and they match. Just like that. She will go like this, and like this. Now she's got a place she could start doing more of the yellows for those bonuses, or she could declare that this is a dark gray, and this is an orange, and now she's got two size three groups. A size three group of orange, a size three group of dark gray, and the extra points for that yellow. Um, every loan block by itself at the end of the game is worth one point. Also, whoever has the most food left over gets a few points, and whoever is the person that um, is the one who triggers the end of the game by having completed their fourth level, where there's only two, grabs this, which is worth three points. Once somebody does that, there's one more round. Everybody gets to build as much as they can, and then final scoring happens. So that was it. Uh, nothing's emptied out. Everything moves on. And as predicted, I was hoping, hoping, hoping this wasn't going to happen, but somebody just pulled into my village who wants no meat, and meat's on the menu, boys. That's all I've got. So I will not be buying anything. If I restock, I've only got room for one thing. So, I think it's time for me to go to the market. Because at the very least, I can hopefully grab something from the bag and put it in the next market, the next basket that's coming to visit me. Jen, meanwhile, says, oh, you better believe I'm going to go shopping. So, um, boop. All right, and I think I've moved this. In case I haven't for... Uh, I apologize, folks. It's kind of hard to remember to change the first player marker when you're playing by yourself and controlling two characters. We'll assume I'm first. All right, I'm going to go to the market. I have enough meat. I'm going to grab two. Although I can only grab one. My yurt is now full. And now I'm going to draw three. And either... I would be very, very happy if I get the cloud because I'd like this to come into town. But I would also be happy just to get something that I could put on here so that comes into town. So let's start drawing. A one. Oh my gosh. And a two. And... Gosh darn it. You know what, folks? I'm going to say boom. A three. Uh, and you're like, no! The cloud! I just wanted to demonstrate how this works. It was dumb luck. I didn't... Anyway, we still keep going, though. And a three. Okay. So, the cloud shows up. Everybody moves. Everything changes. And this goes away. And all those clouds go back in the bag. And now... Once four clouds have happened and filled those up, then those will stay out. And for the remainder of the game, there will only be one cloud in the bag. So, or not cloud, fog. So the fog will pretty much have dissipated completely. So that was it. And I'm pretty happy. Um, I would be happier, though, if Jen wasn't about to do this. Jen says, hey, you know what? I'll go on ahead and spend this milk and buy this black. And just like that, boom. Although here's the deal. If Jen does this, she avoids three points, negative loss. But where is she going to put this? It kind of... Well, I guess she could go like this, but that's a place where she'd want to put a further yellow. She could put it like this, but then that's gumming up the works of her expanding her orange and her dark gray. But it does leave a place for another yellow over there. I think Jen will go like that. Might regret that later. But anyway, so... And Jen couldn't buy another thing because she didn't have enough. And so... Oh, and meanwhile, I had to decide... One of these things. Okay, and before Jen bought anything, before Jen bought this, right? So this was full. Whatever I'm placing, I could not put here because it was full. And that's where I would have liked to have placed it because... Or, or no, yeah, because I couldn't put it here. Because if I could, I'd put this yellow and then it would come over to me. But I can't do that. So i got to put one of these someplace. And hey, here's another one of these dark grays, which is all about trying to have majorities. 
And again, I can't put it over here, so that could come to me because it was full at that time because I was the first player. So I either put it over here or over there. If I put it over there, it's what I'm giving to Jen. I don't want Jen to have access to these, but I don't want Jen to have access to this either because she already has a big group of dark grays. That's letting her buy another one. And she'll be able to buy it too. Oh my gosh. No matter what, this is a, this has gone terribly wrong, folks. Whichever one of these I put... Well, that's if I put it over here. I don't have to put it over here. I could put it over here, which is what I'm going to do. Because that means it'll, there'll be time. All right, so I'll just go ahead and put the dark gray. All right, so I'll put that there. And, um, right. So, that was... And now it's Jen's turn. She goes on ahead and she buys. And she puts this here, as we discussed. And then everything goes again. <laughs> And here we go. Uh, this one doesn't want bread. I can buy. I could buy all of these. I could spend six, get rid of all this meat, and buy a crystal. And I do like these reds, and I like these light blues. I think that's what I'm going to do. A one, a two, a three, a four, a five, a six. All right. And uh, there's a one, and a two, and a three, and a four. And so this is almost full of meat. Five, six. So I just bought all of this. All of it. The red will go there. The uh, gray. What am I going to do with this gray? What am I doing with this gray? I mean, this gray by itself is worth one point at least. Uh, I'll put it up here. If I put it up here, that's a place where I cannot put a yellow anymore. But it's not like there's any yellows around. And hey, I could start trying to work on a group of light grays up there. Because remember, the more groups I have, the more points. Plus, this is the beginning of my fourth level. One, two, three, four, and I'll be triggering the end of the game. So if I put another light gray up there, and I'll go on ahead and put this down here. Ultimately, I will consider that crystal to be um, a continuation of my red or my black. And I'll consider this one to be a continuation of whatever I put on top. All right, so, and by the way, boom. Empty. So it's time to draw three. And remember, all that fog just showed back up in. So there's a good chance the fog is going to shift. One, two, three. It did. So I draw again. There we go. So the fog shifted. All the acts are confused. And I take one of these and put them somewhere. This is what's coming to me. It'll be a yellow. So I can put the yellow. No! This one doesn't want meat. All I've got now is meat. No, wait, no, I do, I do, I do, I do still have, I did have a little bit of milk. Phew, I just got it knocked off. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I'll put these back. I don't want this black. Oh, no, Jen already got her black, so, so this effectively, everybody has a black. Nobody's going to lose points. That one doesn't matter. Jen is still winning five. I've got to get a dark gray before this game is over. If I don't, one dark gray is worth three. As always, folks, I never understand why developers... Man, I'll work talk about them final thoughts. But anyway, the yellows. I've got two of these. Jen's only got one. I'm feeling pretty good about that. So that was it for me, right? And then what did Jen do? Did Jen already go? I'm not quite sure, but you know what, folks? I think I'm going to stop right there because that should give you a pretty good idea of the basic flow of Yak. And now, if you'd like to hear some final thoughts, you can hit that I in the top right corner screen or follow the show notes in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.